Hello, Gary here for Climate Mechanics. Uh, following on from Justin and Katie's discussion about antagonist training, um, I wanted to go over um, shoulder posture um, because one of the main takeaways from that is that um, it's about context um, and you, you shouldn't just prescribe people antagonist exercises willy-nilly. So I'm going to give you three reasons why you might want to remedy your climber hunchback. Uh, first one is having the awareness and postural control over your shoulders can really help with your straight arm technique. Um, so I see a lot of climbers um, on steep, steep terrain especially, they'll have mostly straight arms, but they'll finish the movement with a slight bend. So they'll get almost there, can't quite reach, pull to finish the movement. And a lot of the time, um, they can actually keep their arms straight if they just bring their shoulders down and back. So that's scapular uh, retraction and depression. And that means you don't have to do that little bit of a pull up. Um, and bringing your shoulders back brings your torso up and gives you much more reach. So just in general, being aware of where your shoulders are will allow you to climb with straight arms a bit better. Um, and also, um, prevent your shoulder from being in these, these ugly, tensed up positions um, where you can uh, hurt your, your upper traps and um, get into weird postures. Uh, second reason is your, your arm will have the most power when it's in the right spot in the joint. So it turns out if your joint isn't in the socket, your body's not going to really want to pull very hard on that. So being able to locate where you are and put it into those optimal positions is, is really, really useful. And the third thing is the way you posture your shoulders affects how your spine and your hips are positioned. So everything's connected. So by rolling your shoulders forward, that's going to roll your thoracic spine. And in general, your body's going to come out from the wall. So being able to bring the shoulders down and back, it's going to let you pull that torso in towards the wall in a lot of situations. Now, it's not to say that you never want to be able to bring your shoulders forward and bring your hips out, but just being able to know, have that awareness where your shoulder is and be aware when it's in a funny place, be aware when you're losing reach and being able to uh, have the strength to put it where you want it is, is really powerful. Um, so Hakan and Justin are going to go through some exercises to improve your shoulder mobility and strength. Um, but I guess the bottom line is to have the option to be able to do that. Um, I'd say in general, before you pull, just think to yourself, where is my shoulder? Um, is it in its socket? Is it up here? Is it you know, way too far back? Yeah. Um, so yeah, just a quick one. And let us know if you've got any requests, um, anything that you want to keep strong during this lockdown period. Uh, any, any questions, we're very happy to get involved. Cool. See you next time.